Genetic counsellors are highly skilled health professionals who have specific training in genetics and genomics and also counselling and communication skills. Genetic counsellors see individuals and also their families often when the diagnosis is fairly clear. So if after a genetic test has been done and a variant has been identified in an individual then a genetic counsellor might see the patient or the family at that point or they might see them um, before testing is done when it's very clear what the condition is that's being explored in the family. They might, for instance, see a, a child who's born with a metabolic disorder. They might also counsel a couple who have questions about a reproductive risk of a future child. On the other hand, a vast majority of our work is focused um, in adults who might be questioning risks inherent in their families, such as hereditary cancer risks. This is quite a different role from what the clinical geneticists have, so they're the medics and they do more diagnostic work. So genetic counsellors don't do diagnostic work in the same way. We're explaining the genetics to them. We are looking at their family history to think about what genes might be playing a role. We're talking about genetic testing and we're talking about the implications for them and their family members of any particular genetic diagnosis. Consultant genetic counsellors are expected to be clinical experts within a specific area of clinical genetics. People are not always aware that genetics can sometimes guide treatment. For example, if there is a meeting to discuss breast cancer patients, we will meet with breast surgeons and oncologists. That can change the type of chemotherapy they can have, that might change the type of surgical decisions they might have, and our role is to counsel them about that possibility and about what they would like to do moving forward. As the complexity of the tests that we're offering our patients increases, so does the complexity of the results. And so delivering those results has to be done in a really clear and compassionate, sensitive way. Genetic counsellors are really uniquely positioned, I think, to take the years of hard work by researchers and scientists communicated to our patients in a really clear and comprehensible way. That's a great responsibility but I also think it's a, a privilege. The most important skills that genetic counsellors need is the ability to listen, to walk for a moment in somebody else's shoes and that, those are the skills of empathy. So that the consultations they have are really really patient focused and actually will address the issues of importance to the patient. But the skill in genetic counselling is, is doing all of that as well as incorporating genetic and genomic information. All of our patients um, walk through the clinic room doors with a different story, with a different set of emotional needs, a different set of medical needs. It's about actually being useful to them in translating some potentially complex scientific and often difficult psychological information which is not only important for them, but for their wider family. The profession of genetic counselling um, is really in the spotlight at the moment. The roles are expanding out of clinical um, specialist services. There's much more teaching, there's much more support of um, uh, other health professionals that a genetic counsellor works with. It's an incredibly exciting time as genomics is mainstreamed across whole healthcare services and genetic counsellors need to be part of that journey.